Danelle, welcome to Carlisle. A couple of days training already, so the settling in process has started. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, it's been good. Obviously, this is my third day in, second day training. It's been good. I've met loads of staff. So everyone's been welcoming, the players. They've been great. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to, to the challenge ahead. For us, it looked like it happened quite quickly. You know, all of a sudden you're coming up, you're arriving late at night and then you're into it. Is your head spinning still? Oh, no, no, my, my head's not spinning. I've had a few days to to um, to get to, to to understand the situation, but I think that's that's football. That's what happens in football. Things things change very quickly. Overnight, something something could change, especially in the transfer window. So you just always got to be ready, and your mentality's just got to be um, ready to take on whatever job, whatever job, whatever job you have to do. How much were you ready to get out on loan and to get some first team football? I don't think in terms of was I was I was desperate. I was just I was just very very cautious of what's best for me, whether staying and, and getting minutes with the first team was better or, or to go out and and, and, and push push myself and try to get like 20, 20 games or so under my belt. I think it was just about find, finding what's best for me, not rushing it and making sure I find the right club which fits my style and with a gaffer like Keith, he's, he's, he's willing to help and, and develop me as a player. I mean, that must have been a big part of the decision-making process because you, you, you're on the brink. It feels like you're just about there with Southampton. So it must have been that. But then again, like you said, do I go and try and get serious game time? Yeah, I think I think it was. Um, I was I was on the brink, but also as a, as a young defender, it's about experience. It's about as many games as you can get. It's, it's playing real football. So having to fight for three points, having having to head the ball, having to defend, clear block shots, and and having to to be at your comfort zone. So I think this is a great place for me to come. I know League Two is a very tough league, very, 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 very big physical players. So it's not going to be easy, but I'm, I'm ready for it. And I'm ready to learn. EFL trophy games with both Chelsea and with Southampton. How much has that helped in terms of gaining, gaining that experience? Yeah, I think, I, think, I think they were great for my development because it's not every day you get to play against teams like that. You play against teams like Man City. They just want to play, play football. So it's it's, it's two different, two different parts of the game. I think it's very important to be able to play football, but it's very important to to be able to do the other side too and play against bigger players, play against players who just want to lump it down the pitch. You have to head it and and you have to fight for the second balls. I think, I think that's very important. I mean, without being too disrespectful, that is league too. You know, you're going to come up against defenders who are big. They're physical. They'll be. Pulling at you, pushing at you. Is that something you're ready for? Yeah, totally. I think it's a, it's an art. It's an art in itself. It's not just lumping it down. It's, it's playing to their strengths, and, and it's something I can get better with. And I think with the gaffer and the squads, I will get better. I'm not going to come in and be perfect straight away, but I'm willing to learn. I want to, I want to f- f- feel feel what it's like and, and get that experience. And hopefully, I can, I can learn very quickly and become a good player. Without being too personal, you're a very physical guy. You can see it. You, you, you're strong. So that part of the game, it looks like it's going to come naturally. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's going to. I'm, I'm, I'm big. I like. I like to fight and stuff. But I think I need to learn the other side, where it's being patient, um, being clever. Especially when when I meet a plumber, meet players bigger than me. I'm gonna meet, meet players who's going to match me physically. So I need to be able to to find other ways to win the ball or, or to play as a, as a unit and, and, and delay their attack and, and what not, so yeah. At this level we tend to think of central defenders as head it, kick it, be, be physical. Coming through Chelsea and Southampton there's got to be more to your game than that. Oh definitely, I love, I love to play, um, so I think it's going to be important for me to, to, to know when to play and when, and when to go direct because at, at academy level, like obviously you're playing in the league but I don't think there's as much, as much risk you don't get punished as much for for the risks you take, so it's going to be very important for me to to not overplay because I love playing, but but to make the right decisions at the right time. Never any guarantees, Danelle. You're here, it's competitive. You're here to fight for a place, so that's going to be the first task, isn't it? Is to get that shirt. Yeah, exactly. It's never wherever you walk in, you can get guaranteed anything. But at the end of the day, it's about your performance. You got you got to earn the shirt. You got to earn the right to play. So I'm willing. I'm willing to. To, to fight for a first team place and hopefully solidify that and we can we can try try stay in the squad. You can tell just by the way you are, you're ready for this, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm ready. I'm I'm, I'm excited. Um, something something which I've thought about for a while now and just let's bring it on. So yeah. It's no secret you had other options. There was other things that were bubbling away in the background. What was it that swung it? to bring you here up to Carlisle, yeah. so far away from Southampton. Yeah I know. Five 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 hours drive was it easy. I think it was um it was mainly the gaffer really, um, he's been great with me so far, the plans he had for me, um, he really wants to develop me as a player, not just not just play me but he wants me to help the squad too um, and he feels very passionate about me, he, he came down to see me, we had, we, had, we had conversations and stuff so 
it's just that, that warm welcome and that feeling of being being wanted, having but obviously I still have to earn the right to play, but I just think the gaffer really motivated me and he, he helped me to to pick this pick this choice. You are very much in Southampton's thoughts. What have they said about this move? What do they want you to do over the next three or four months? Um I think just just learn, just embrace it. Um play as much games as I can. Um not to change my game too much, but to be able to to, to adapt and come back a better player. I'm only going to come back a better player, stronger, fitter, more clever. And yeah, it's just, just giving my best and, and, and keep working hard every day, really. And Keith mentioned it when he spoke to us about you. He'd been down a couple of times. He's been to see you and talk to you before all of this happened. What's it like as a player to know that you've got somebody who really is, wants to invest in you? Um, how can I say it? It's, um, it's a good feeling, really. It's um, Because he doesn't have to do it. He could just call me up and just tell him to come down, but it's just like it's just it's just that extra push, that extra drive. Like wow, he really went to me, so I want to repay the favour. He's brought me down here. It's a great opportunity, and I want to be good to him. I want to try to do everything he tells me to do. I want to learn, and I want to I want to I want to play playing playing at the BP in front of the fans. I, w I want the experience, you know. You said that straight away on social media. Can't wait to meet you at the weekend. That's genuine as well, isn't it? You're looking forward to that buzz, that crowd, that atmosphere. Yeah, I, w I, w I want to hear a crowd. Obviously, at academy level, you don't play in front of a huge crowd, especially during COVID. And so, I want to, I want to play with, 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 with the fans. I want to hear them screaming. I want to, I thrive off, I thrive off um, external energy too. So, um, I've seen you get six thousand or so fans down. I sort of. I saw the 200 or so fans who travelled to the away game for a screen on the weekend. So I think there's a great community community here and I think um, the fans will be great and I'm looking forward to meeting them. You've spoken about the defensive aspects. You've got that goal against Walsall. It goes for a senior goal for, for, for your club. I mean, is that part of your game as well, being a presence in the opposition box? Yeah, yeah, um, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I think I like attacking corners. I like, I like set pieces. I've been a quite unfortunate a few times this, this year, but... I've been a threat in the box and I think it's something I need to add to my game, more goals, but, but definitely just being a threat in the opposition box but as well, um, being important and pivotal in our defensive defensive box when, when defending set pieces and so, because I know set pieces are huge in this league. That last one, Denel, looking at the, the league position, did that come into your, your thoughts at all? Hang on a minute, what am I going to here? Is this a club that, that's in trouble or did that not was that not a factor at all? I think in life, I think this is a, I think this is an opportunity more than, more than trouble. I think it's... Um, opportunity to to play for a team because I've been at Chelsea most of my most of my career. It'll be it's, it's good to play on the other side, fighting, fighting to stay up. Um seeing how far we can do, obviously learning from the dressing room, um what what what, what their thoughts are, how they cope with it. How I wanna I wanna add to the dressing room too. I wanna be a positive character, I wanna be a leader. Um and I just wanna like see 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 what happens. Just it's just just an opportunity and and take on board all, all, all what I learn and hopefully hopefully we have a good run because I've seen they've had they were five unbeaten I think it's believe and I think there's a real good um real good belief here and a run and I'm sure we'll stay up so it'll be a good challenge.